<clears throat> Alright, so it is 11, right at 11 p.m. on Tuesday, and just kind of wrapping up the day. I uh, want to give a quick recap and go over a quick discussion here. Everyone, gather around. <laughs> Story time. Good job. Yeah, you're pressing your button. What up guys, it's Gary Vee and it's time for the Daily Bread. Give us our daily bread, I want the whole basket. Cause I'ma hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward, right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the Daily Bread. Woke up at 3.45 this morning, uh, picked up TJ, headed on the road um, towards Georgia, had a three and a half hour drive, meetings back to back. Meeting number one. Meeting number two, 9.30 a.m. To back to back to back. Meeting number three, 10.16 a.m. Meeting number four, 10.34 a.m. <laughs> Meeting number one, two, three, four, fifth. Back. Meeting number six, stay thirsty. Meeting number seven. On our way to meeting number eight, the Ocho. To back. All right, guys, meeting number nine. Let's head out. Is that nine? Uh, had nine meetings, uh, supposed to have 11. One got um, rescheduled, one got canceled. As you can see, it's dark again. Uh, you saw me in the car eating my lunch in the gas station parking lot. I'm eating steak, black beans, and rice. This guy. This guy is eating an entire Little Caesars pizza. Um, and that's the extent of the time that was not uh, used in a meeting or driving. Um, so it's 6.45 p.m. now. And we are literally just now leaving. Uh, you can see we're watching the MSCEO podcast there. Um, but we're just now leaving my last meeting and headed back to the hotel. We hadn't even checked in the hotel yet. I uh, didn't get to the hotel to check in until about eight o'clock. Uh, got back to the hotel after TJ was editing all day long. Just did some final reviews of the episode. Got it launched about, I don't know, close to nine o'clock. I think it's right around nine o'clock or so. Got, at, got all that done, got all the shares and all that fun stuff that goes when we launched the, the vlog. It's so funny when we launched the, the vlog, it's like the second it posts, it's like, go, 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 go. It's like, <laughs> it's so funny. It's like, feels like it's, it's always feels like a race uh, to get it shared and all the different stuff and uh, get it out there on Instagram and the links and the bios and the sharing it to my other pages and just all this craziness that happens. Um, then from there, went straight into recording a podcast, which didn't work out so well, got like halfway, maybe even three-fourths of the way through with an excellent podcast with an incredible guest, and his phone just died. Is that like 7%? It's not looking good. That's all right. Man, that was a good start. Didn't have a charger, and so he's just gone. Um, so that happens from time to time. Just got to roll with it. Um, went from that straight into a Facebook Live and Instagram Live, which went really well. Had a really cool conversation. <laughs> this is like ego mania. <laughs> For those of you down here, I've got Facebook Live up here on the iPad. For those of you up here, I've got Instagram Live down here on my phone. I've got TJ's phone, which by the way is a iPhone 1.5. <laughs> like literally is like look at the size of this thing <laughs> like <laughs> unbelievable uh, but now it's just kind of doing this recap and then I'll basically lay down for a few minutes try to go through my inbox and um, respond to all my unread messages and, and then get a little bit of sleep and, and do it all over again tomorrow and so what I wanted to talk about real quick is one of my favorite quotes of all time and it's by Winston Churchill where he said, success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts. And the reason why I love this quote and the reason why I wanna kinda of recap with that quote today is because it talks to every single one of you, right? Success is not final, 
Well, that's kind of the way I feel right now. And that's the way a lot of you feel that are having success. Like, you're not guaranteed that same success tomorrow. What got you here won't keep you here. What got you here won't get you to the next level. So your success is not final. Basically means like, don't get fancy. Like, yeah, you've had a good run. Yeah, you've made some good money. You're you're having some progress. You're building a following. You feel like you got some momentum going. That's when you are supposed to really lay the hammer down and continue that momentum, right? A lot of people will have some success and then they'll ease back. And then they'll have a little bit of success and they'll ease back. And they'll have a little bit of success and they'll ease back. And they never truly um, reach their potential because they're always pulling back right at the exact time where you're supposed to push harder. So that's one group that it's talking to. The second is failure is not fatal. This is the most important group of people that are watching this video right now that I just want you to hear me when I say whatever struggle you are going through right now, it is not fatal. Um, your life is not over. As long as you are still breathing, you have time and you have time to change everything, turn everything around. And what I just know, and I just know it because I know it from experience, is that there is a purpose in whatever that struggle is that you're going through right now. There's purpose in whatever that pain is that you're feeling right now. And the blessing that is on the other side of it, you will not be able to receive it until you understand the purpose of what you're going through at right this moment. And so failure is not fatal. And the last part is, it's the courage to continue that counts. And that's what we all need. So whether that's me talking to you as the person that's succeeding and knowing that it's not final, whether that's me that's talking to you, the person that's failing, to know that it's not fatal, for both of those people, it's the courage to keep moving forward, regardless of where you are right now, that ultimately sets you apart from the rest. It's ultimately what sets you apart, um, the good from the great. Um, the, the successful from the, the legendary, the successful from building a legacy. And, and that's what it's all about. It's the courage to continue. You guys know I love that phrase, Andrew Frisella kind of coined, do it anyway. Um, it's when you don't feel like it. Like, I didn't feel like going to my eighth meeting today. I didn't feel like going to my ninth meeting today. I didn't feel like coming back and doing all the things I did, but I still did it because the, it is the courage to continue even when you're having success. It is the courage to continue even when you're amidst failure. That really counts and is the true testament of what you're worth, testament of what you have deep down inside of you. So that is my encouragement to you. If you are in the midst of success or in the midst of failure, have the courage to continue. And that's all you need.